From Cakeland, this is Emmy Award winning Cake News. A family speaks to Cake News about how they'll remember a woman shot and killed along with her husband this week. We know a lot of you guys are getting ready to eat breakfast this morning, but when a Wichita mom grabbed that box of cereal, she found the most shocking surprise. And officers investigating a fight where a man was pistol whipped, sending him to the hospital. Those are our big stories this morning. Good morning, everybody. I'm Annette Lawless, and welcome to GMK Sunday. You know, we've had a warm up with temperatures lately, and I am loving it. I hope you guys are planning to get outside today, but I'm sure meteorologist Blake Smith would like to chime in to tell you what to expect, right? Yeah, maybe a record or two later on this afternoon. This morning, we're starting off under a mainly clear sky, a live look outside with our Emprise Bank KCAM up the road toward Great Bend. It's 28 there right now. We're at 25 in Garden City with a few clouds sneaking on through. 28 is the current reading in Wichita, 30 degrees in Hutch, and it's just above freezing for Liberal Dodge as well as for Goodland and Colby. I think we're well on our way to to the 50s, if not the 60s, later on this afternoon. The reason why is because we have winds coming out of the south and southwest now. That will usher in some warmer air from Oklahoma and Texas later on today. So 56 at noon, on our way to 66 for a high in Wichita. If we hit that, that will set a new record that has stood since 1951. There is some cooler weather on the planner, though, unfortunately, and I'll show it to you coming up in just a few minutes. Annette? All right, thanks, Blake. A highway has reopened after a fatal accident over in northwest Kansas. The Kansas Highway Patrol says the crash happened around 5.30 yesterday evening on I-70 near Colby. One of the semi-trucks burned all the way to the ground. The crash closed down the highway for some time, but it did reopen this morning. New this morning, police are investigating a fight where a man was pistol whipped in southeast Wichita. Now, initially, officers thought there was a shooting at a home near Harry and South Clifton, but it appears that a person struck the 30-year-old man with a gun, and then the gun went off. The victim was taken to the hospital, but is expected to be okay. And not too far from there, fire crews rushed to a Wendy's after midnight. That's where they found smoke coming out of a building. It appears that a heating and air unit had malfunctioned. The fire was mostly contained to a roof in the back part of the building, Nobody was hurt. Damage is estimated at $60,000. Police are investigating after a 21-year-old man is found in an icy creek in southwest Wichita. Family members tell us that that man had died. A man was walking his dog at Pawnee Prairie Park, and he found the victim around 9 o'clock yesterday morning. The park is located just northwest of Pawnee and Tyler. A woman and her husband shot and killed in their Wichita home this week. Lucero Rodriguez was killed along with her husband at an apartment complex Wednesday night. Family members say that the young woman helped manage a local business and was even a successful boxer. She also liked to give back to those in need. You struggle. She would go out of her way to help you. Didn't matter if she just got paid and she was going to be left with no money. It'll cost about $7,000 to send that woman's body back to Texas, which is where she's from. We have information on how you guys can give back on our website. Just head over to cake.com and click on this story. Well, some of you may be grabbing that box of cereal this morning, but one Wichita mom found a surprise inside of her box. Brian Ramsdale shows us her shocking find. Disgusted. I mean, this shouldn't be in anybody's food, let alone kids' food. Cassie Howard found this in a limited edition sugar cookie toast crunch cereal box while pouring her daughter a bowl of it for breakfast. Pulled out the bag and I thought I'd get her some more cereal and sure enough, there were cigarette butts at the bottom of it. So she called the manufacturer, General Mills, to get some answers. Instead, she got a coupon. We will send you a coupon to replace your box of cereal. I don't want my box replaced. You know, I want something done. So I gave General Mills a call to see what they had to say about the photos Howard sent in. Showed one of your products and in the bottom of the box there was actually some cigarette butts and some just general filth in the bottom of it. But I haven't received a response yet. The Howards have no idea how the cigarette butt managed to get into the box. And We don't smoke. We've never smoked a day in our lives. So this is a box of cinnamon toast crunch, very similar to what the Howards had. And now as I take a look around, I can see all the corners around here, they're completely sealed up. There's no way for much of anything to get inside unless, well, you open it up. 
Howard says she will never use a General Mills product ever again. Oh yeah, I'm not. Mm -mm. I don't want to take a chance at all. Well, that's pretty interesting right there. The family bought the cereal from Target over at New Market Square. Howard says she plans to throw away all the General Mills products in her house. A benefit this weekend in downtown Wichita raising money for Haiti. Our own Jamel Holoparic acting as MC for last night's event. There she is right there. That girl, she's so much fun. The event, by the way, featuring food, music, and entertainment at the warehouse. The money goes to benefit Hope for Haiti, and it will create a new community center. And you'll remember a 7.0 earthquake back in 2010 that ravaged the island nation. As the president prepares for his State of the Union address, many people are thinking ahead as in the next president of the United States. We're taking a look at the hopefuls in our GMK question of the day. Plus, the Shockers look to move to 6-0 in conference play with a road win at Evansville. See if they make it next in sports. It was kind of a shock to the system yesterday, well into the 60s for the second day in a row. We're going to do it again later on, and it could be a record-setting afternoon for Wichita. Mild and pleasant again for Monday, and then turning much cooler by the middle of the work week. We'll have those details coming up in just a few minutes. Download the K